Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about bioinformatics and this is going to be my fifth video on this topic. And I already made videos about uh, how to interpret different uh, patterns of the dot plot. For example, we already spoke about uh, what this diagram means and B and E, F, G and H. And I highly recommend you to start with my first video. And today I'm going to talk about what we can see on the picture D and this is a uh, representation of the inverted repeat. And this is just a small uh, picture or small fragment of the graph that may look something like this. And as you see, this is uh, going to be inverted repeat. So uh, when you see structure like this, you can say that this is uh, inverted repeat. So what is a repeat? Imagine that we have um, some kind of sequence. For example, it can be a gene. And uh, on the gene, we may have different fragments. For example, something like this. So one fragment and second fragment. We also may have uh, during evolution uh, different uh, Mutations can happen and we may have uh, repetition of the same fragment that would look something like this. And we also may have a repetition of the same fragment uh, that would be not just duplicated but also would be inserted at the different place. It can be the same gene or completely different uh, gene or even it can be different uh, chromosome. And we also may have a situation when we have duplication, insertion and also this fragment also would be inserted in the inverted order. So this is exactly what we are going to talk about today and this is exactly what represents what's going on on this picture. So when we plot uh, two strands of the, for example, DNA, uh, this should be whether the same sequence or sequence that is homologous, so from very close related um, species. And when we see such a picture, that means uh, in a linear representation, this is going to be duplication and inversion of the same fragment. And let me build uh, a dot plot so you would better understand. Imagine that we have a sequence, uh, this would be a graphic sequence, like follows. So this is going to be our first sequence, then uh, our gene that is, uh, or sorry, fragment that is going to be duplicated, then we would have a different fragment here, and then once again our fragment that is duplicated and inverted, and uh, one more sequence that goes in this direction. So now if we plot these two sequences and our zero point would be here. Our second strand also would be as follows. And here our fragment separated by different fragment that goes in the same direction. And then we have a reverse repeat. And once again we have uh, different fragment. So for example if we say that this is going to be a sequence that is A, B, C and this is going to be D, E, F and this is going to be G, H, I and once again, because we have duplication here, so our sequence would be F, 
E and D. So you see we just flip over this sequence so we would have D, E, F. So in reverse order and uh, once again uh, our sequence for the green fragment would be J, K and L. And the same sequence we plot uh, on the uh, other strand. So imagine that this would be two strands of the polypeptide. So here we would have also A, B and C, D, E, F and uh, here we would have G, H and I and then once again in reverse order we would have D, E and F and then we have J, K and L. Now we just our matrix in order to save a time, I will stop video here, make a uh, matrix and proceed. So now let's put a dot whenever we have uh, the same uh, letter in the same box. For example, on the X axis and Y axis we have A, so we put a dot here. And uh, here is our first dot. And next we would have B here and C here and D if we check the row D we also would have here so we also put a dot here and then E we put dot here and if we check the whole row we also have to put a dot here because as you see we have same letter in the same box. Next we have F here and we have F also here. Next we have G only in one place here H and I and then once again we have F here and we have F here. We have E here and we have E here in this box. D we have here and we have here. Then we have J, K and L. And as you see this picture is very similar to the graph I showed before. But here on this graph uh, we have zero point that starts here. So we, here is our x axis and y axis here. But uh, on our graph we have zero point that starts here. I am using different starting points on purpose because 50% of the uh, online or offline programs uh, using starting point that starts here and uh, half of them build a dot plot with zero point at the lower left corner but uh, it shouldn't confuse you and now you know that such a picture or pattern means reverse repeat of the same fragment and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.